Welcome back boys to the channel and girls. I'm gonna do an afternoon hunt, a solo afternoon hunt. I haven't, I've only done like one solo hunt this year and sometimes it's nice just to go out and have that success uh, yourself and just, I don't know, just be out there. So of course I got Rocky with me, so he's in the back. Put in for what we call the sweat line. If you guys wanna know more about that, you're not from California or maybe you're in the military. And by the way, shout out to all the military, active and veterans. Never said that on this channel. Um, I was, I'm a, a veteran myself and yeah, I guess you'd think someone like me would say that more, but I, I do appreciate you guys. A lot, a lot of people on Instagram and stuff like that message us all the time talking about, hey, what do I do? I'm from this state and I'm stationed in California. How's this whole system work? So anyways, if you want to listen or hear more about that or learn more about that, you can check out our podcast, The MVM Show. And there's some a couple um, episodes that we go into detail about that and help you guys out. So anyways, I am sweatline, meaning I'm the last of the last because I couldn't get here last night to put in for lottery. But believe it or not, I'm only like 14th down the line. And honestly, for showing up 8 o'clock, uh, that's really good. I'm hoping to be in the refuge and start an uh, afternoon hunt by like 11 o'clock. I think you're gonna have a good time. There is a ton of birds in the closed zone. We got a 10 to 20 mile an hour wind out of the north, which this place always does good. So anyways, I'm gonna go check out one of my favorite stores, maybe grab a bite to eat, head back and sit there and wait in the park lot until get some action. Do you know this? Rocky still doesn't like to get in a pit. I should have videoed it. It's like wrestling a bear. But I got a good blind. We've been here before. Just got the just got the decoys out. I got a spinner out, but I might take it down. I'm not a big spinner fan. We'll see how the birds react to it. But really, I'm surprised I haven't seen nothing. Oh, I hear some geese coming. I better get off here, guys. But I got the shot cam. I'm shooting my 12 gauge and I'm shooting heavy metal three inch four shot. I don't think they like that spinner. Come here, buddy. Come here. Dead bird. Back! He sees it. I think I got the hen. I was aiming for the drake and I think I shot behind it and hit the hen. Good boy! Good boy. Leave. I was thinking that when I was shooting too. I was like, I bet you I'm gonna miss and hit her. Oh well. Bird's a bird, but that one kind of irritated me. That was a stud Drake widgeon. And it's like I knew as I was squeezing the trigger, I was gonna hit that hand because I wasn't leading that Drake far enough. They actually were way closer right here, but this big old bush thing was in my way. So you can see, just because I'm trying to get in some shadows, if you got the sun beaming on you, which you always do in this pit, unless it's overcast. I'm trying to create some shadows, but I've had a lot of pintails come over. So I'm kind of trying to get a stud though, because there's so many, I think I could, I think I could pick one pretty easy. So I'm gonna wait till one has a super long pin. The closest thing I've got is like 35 yards, and I just held off. I took my spinner down too. I think it was pushing them out there a little ways. Where's the drakes? That was 15 yards.
that one. Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. Double trouble. Good boy, here. Here. That was a big group. I think I got both tricks. Here, over here. Leave. There's one. Let's go get that other one. Nice. Yeah, bird. Back. Back. Good boy. He's dead. That heavy metal. I shot him in the rear twice. That's why I put another one in him because I knew I hit him once. Or the bismuth inside of that. He he sailed a little bit, hit the water, and by the time Rocky got to him, he's dead. That's the thing, even if you don't make a clean shot, that stuff will kind of clean up your, your junk. Whereas in my opinion, if it was still, he would have kept going, I think. Good boy. Two drakes and a hen. I'll take that. Come on, buddy. Good boy. Good boy, you want to carry it back there? You want me to carry it? I'll, I'll let you carry it. Said I went and got it, I'll carry it. Head toes on the right side, a couple widgeon in the back, shovelers and coots on the left, and then a swimmer and pulsator right in the middle. They didn't really do it though, but they weren't that far, so I'll take it. Double on Widgeon Drake. That's a good. Hold. 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 Oh, yeah. Hold. Leave. Good boy. Nice. Nice head on him. Good little sprig, too. Double. Double on Widgeon. Stoked. That's a nice one, too. He's got a really white top. What's funny about that, guys, is... So the guys to the west of me, they were doing their widgeon call like big time. And I had mine, I grabbed mine. There was whatever, however many in that group. And I grabbed mine to start calling. Well, as soon as they hit the widgeon call, those birds flared and came right to me. Guess what I did? I dropped the widgeon call and said, forget it. I'm not even gonna call. I kind of meandered around right here and then got here. They got the closest point. I'd say 25 yards. Pretty stoked to get a double on widgeon. I've been picky on the pintails because I want to get one with a long sprig. One just did it awesome. And I passed him up. <laughs> he didn't really have a sprig on him. Hopefully I don't regret that. Pfft. The thing that I feared has come upon me. The stinking wind died down to about a four or five. And just getting flatter and flatter. Now I'm starting to think I should have shot my bin tail. Not good. This place dies down about an hour before shoot time ends. I'm starting to not get too hopeful and nothing's flown by me in the last 20 minutes. It went from a 15 mile north of wind, 15 to 20, to basically almost nothing. Well, what do you think? I think your dad made a bad call, huh? Should have shot those pintails when he could. The wind completely stopped, went to zero, birds stopped flying. And then it switched to the southeast at like 10. You mad at me? <laughs> huh? You mad at me? Yeah. Sorry, bud. Yeah, I know. I really just need to leave. There ain't gonna be nothing else coming. That's how this place always is. What lures you in, making you think that you're gonna have another chance if you never do for the last hour. Definitely should have had a pin tell. That was a bad, bad call. Hmm. It's like now that I look back at it, it's like, why did I care about a long pin? I'm not gonna mount it. If anything, I was looking forward to eating it. So what does it matter what the pin is? I'm kicking myself now big time. Well, it was nice to meet the guys at the check station day. Talk to a couple guys and actually never even got your name. Kind of was excited to get a pin tail because I wanted to cook it. I can't even get a Drake shoveler to come by. Doggone it. Of course, my GoPro dies. Literally just died as that group was coming right at me. Good boy. Nice Drake, Widgeon. <coughs> Good boy. Good boy. I stunned him though. He helicoptered all the way down. Hold. 
Lee. Shaking them again. I mean, that one did that joker's stone dead. Nice bird. Really nice tertial feathers. Right when I was about to call up, boys, I mean, he's dead. Ah, I got like 25 30 minutes of shoot time. Do I stay? I guess I will. What are you made this for? after point. I think they're seeing Rocky sit here up on top. I never liked having the dog up on top of me. Get him, boy. Come on, Bubba. Good dog. Oh, two birds in the last five minutes. I guess you can see it was worse than. Good boy. Drake Shabana. Come on, bud. Come here, over here. Come here. Oh, that's a stud, too. Some of you shovel lovers can appreciate that. Here, bud. Here. Hold. Hold. Leave. If you would have had a band, that'd really be cool. But yeah, that's a nice bird. It's about as pretty as they get. This time of year. Two in five minutes, uh, that Drake Shoveler and that other Drake Widgeon. Last five minutes. I didn't stink and get the one on video, but I'm pretty happy with that actually. Five. I definitely could have had a Drake Pence on that pile. About 10 of them if I wanted. I really now looking back, don't know why I got so picky about that. That was really stupid. Those are really nice birds. Really nice white caps on these. All three of these actually. Really not a lot of flaking left in that one, maybe, but these two are pretty solid. And then he's a stud. He's just, he's fully plumed to the max. Shooting the old 12 gauge today, the Browning A5 with Old Faithful Heavy Metal, three inch four shot. He did good today. Today was the first day I would say down, and he would lay down. And that's what you need on these pits because him standing up, it's just me and just too much. Like the birds see it and flare. All right, Darren, this is for you. He said that this is like Mountain Dew on steroids or something like that. Made in 1956. Anybody ever drunk this before that uh, watches the channel? We're gonna try it out. Let's see. I didn't even bring the Dew, I just brought a ski. Oh. Anyways, I got a lot of stuff to wrap up. Beautiful, beautiful California sunset. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next one.